August 1st is upon us, and you guys know what that means. New LEGO promotional items, a ton of new LEGO releases, swiping the card, and of course, a midnight release live stream. So if all of that sounds interesting, and it's your first time here, you're probably thinking, what the heck, this guy's absolutely nuts. But get out those cards, because we're going to be swiping pretty crazily, because the August 1st lineup is actually insane. This is arguably one of the best times of the year, because... Lego decides to do the summer waves, which I always find a contradiction because I don't know, summer's like basically over. So like you call it the summer wave release and it's like the end of summer. It's just, I, I don't get it. But it more or less concludes summer and it's basically Lego building season. So that's what we're going to be discussing in today's video. If that interests you, stick around, hit that subscribe button and let's jump straight on in today's video. For those of you who are new to the channel, I would love to include you guys. We are definitely streaming every single first of the month because LEGO drops insane releases and we swipe the card and we do it together. So we all feel the pain. We endure. We endure it together and we stream that here on the YouTube channel. Again, I did post this one quite early. That way everybody has access to it. So you can bookmark it, notify it so you don't miss out on that stream. But the real focus of today's video is to kind of gather a my plan and kind of recap what's going to be taking place on all this release stream because a lot's going to happen now currently there's only one promotional item it's the candy store that's going to be wrapped up this 200 dollars spend is going to end here at the first um and this promo is going to be retired or no longer available so with that being said that offers us new lego promotional items which we'll talk about here in just a minute or so the first one I wanted to talk about is we are getting an exclusive promo. I've mentioned this in other videos, but we have the new release of the McLaren P1. With that being said, we are getting the McLaren P1 logo promotional item. Definitely says not currently available, but it's going to go along with the release of this McLaren P1. So the only way to get that promo is to spend $450 at release. Again, these promos are always while supplies last, making the collectability and scarcity um, very intriguing from LEGO enthusiasts like myself or you if you are watching. Now, I guess the other way to pick this promotional item up would be to go on eBay and pick it up. But unfortunately, if we do a just quick copy and paste, go to shopping, we can see that this thing is over 100, 110. $200 firstly on eBay. I'm not going to lie to you. These promos always get me really excited. I personally love collectible items. And when there's collectible items as such, I think it's very interesting. But that's my own opinion. Some people just want it available to everybody. So be it, right? But uh, you will see prices come down on LEGO sets and uh, they won't be as valuable if that is the case. Now, I will say this. I haven't formulated exactly what I'm going to buy, but I think... Uh, one of the sets I do plan on picking up is this crafting table. You're probably thinking, Christo, you're not a Minecraft fan. I know you, and you are right. I am not really a Minecraft Lego builder. However, yo, this set's freaking cool. Like, I don't think you have to be a huge Minecraft fan to just enjoy the simplicity and just how epic this Lego set is. And hats off to the creators on this one. I even think 90 bucks for this is pretty well justified because you get a ton of different micro scale biomes. You of course don't get any minifigs, but you get some plaques here that you can display some of your brick built characters in micro scale form. For one, I think this set looks really, 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 really good. And I'm actually really excited to potentially get it and pick it up. So I think that might be my day one splurge. Hashtag swipe the cord. Um, while you're watching today's stream, are you a, swap, a swiper, a tapper, or an inserter? I'm always interested to hear. Along with that one, I am not going to pick up the Jaws because I did get that set early. Put a review up on the channel. But the Jaws $150 LEGO release. I know it's not an uh, August 1st release, but it is technically an August release. Um, not sure why they do this, where they push it to the, yeah, is Insiders August 3rd to the 5th. So if you're planning on getting this out in the live stream, just keep that in mind. It will not be going live. You actually have to wait until the 3rd to pick this up. And then for non-insiders, you have to wait till the 6th. Again, Insiders is free. I always recommend you sign up. It's literally free. I will say... The set that I'm anticipating to be the best seller is the Lego Star Wars Dark Falcon. And actually, hold up, hold up. Hold up, chat. Yeah, that's right. Lego was kind enough to send the set early and was super fortunate. And 
I'm going to say that was the best Lego set I have built in 2024. Aside from that one, I really enjoyed the Bricklink Designer Program. That doesn't really count, but I think the Bricklink Designer Program, uh, Old Train Engine Shed by Maria, that was arguably my best build of 2024. But an official Lego set, this bad boy takes the cake. I mean, this thing, I mean, look, it's a, it's a very nice play scale um, Millennium Falcon. It's blacked out, murdered, and has these red accents. The minifig lineup is absolutely insane. It is just... It's a, it's peak Lego Star Wars. I'm saying, like, it, it's a step up. I love that they're trying something different than minifigs. Like, who would ever tell me to get these minifigures? It is incredible. The OG one that's retiring at the end of the year retails for 170 So it's only 10 bucks more, and you get six exclusive minifigs. Like, I don't know. Hats off to Lego. I think that sets a huge W. And I personally believe this set will sell out. Not to scare you away. Not to be like, oh, crap. I have to buy 100 of these and scalp them and resell. No, like, I just personally believe this is a fantastic set. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in it. And I think it's going to be a sellout Lego set. And it's always interesting to see how that works. Because um, we live in an era where Lego sets don't really sell out as much as they used to. Because of, you know, just the prices of economics and stuff. But we don't have to get that into all that in, a, in today's video. I just want to appreciate some goddamn plastic. So um, let, let me talk about plastic chat. Uh, on top of that, um, you're probably thinking, well, Cristo, is there any other promos we will be seeing in, uh, you know, August 1st? And there is potential. Um, this one popped up as not currently available. It's the rocket, um, the micro rocket launch pad. Uh, I'm actually disappointed that this is being re-released, but we did say this back in February when it did release. It was potentially going to be re-released. And here we are in August of 2024. And probably seeing it come back up. So for me, uh, this is most likely going to be a 200 as it was in February, uh, $200 spend. Now, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love this promo. It's just a bummer for those of who of you who went all out and got it. Um, it, it just got, you know, re-released. Re, re so um, the prices, oh, I should probably put Lego. This set was kind of selling in like the $60 range. And already since, you know, the rumors or potential of it coming back on the market. We've seen it go down quite a bit into like the $40, $50 range. Again, I will have more thoughts about Lego promos being re-released in a future video because I definitely think it's a huge problem. It's a problem for collectors and I truthfully don't like it. I, you know, you can knock the reseller. I actually, I don't really resell ever, uh, but uh, I can definitely appreciate that community because they do do a lot in the form of keeping our collectibles collectible and to me lego is a collectible but that's just my opinion um moving forward though that should probably be a 200 dollars spend um basically on any lego theme and then we also have this um z blob and bunchy spider escape zoe's dream jetpack booster so this will be a double promo stack here for basically any unlicensed lego themes uh like ninjago dreams friends city etc so um, that will probably be like around 50 bucks or so. So that'll be additional two promos coming to the market. Uh, and then one other thing I have for you guys, we do do these live streams every first of the month. And you know how we like to swipe the card responsibly. Wink, wink, wink. Uh, we are bringing something pretty iconic to this live stream. And I know you guys are pretty excited for it because you've been asking me what minifig we're bringing to the table. And I figured since we're getting a bunch of new Lego Star Wars sets, we'd pop out this absolute banger minifig. So... Brought to you by Cristo and Bricklove, we're bringing to you guys this baddie. Yep, if you know, you know. <laughs> so that will be dropping, and of course, we are going to be driving prices down because I love the input from you guys. Um, I, you know, again, expect another sellout. They are limited. We are producing 50 mini things, and uh, guess what? All for the price of $20. More on that, though, during the live stream. Looking forward to see you guys there. Make sure to turn on notification bells so you don't miss out on the live stream. You don't want to miss out on an exclusive big because they do sell out pretty quick. And it's become quite a nice culture here in the LEGO City uh, community. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Love you guys. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day. We'll see you guys live at the midnight hour to swipe the card irresponsibly, responsibly. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Peace out.